this week's episode of Real Green World has been brought to you by Green American Home, a division of Isaiah Industries. Welcome to my world, my Real Green World. I just happened upon this. I'm on a trip up to Canada and came across Invenergy. This is the hugest wind farm I've ever seen. This thing's enormous. It's so windy outside, I had to actually be sitting in my car in order to do this recording. Don't believe me? Listen to this. Now that's windy. Anyway, I'm going to learn a little bit about this, tell you about it in this episode. Thanks for watching. There are a lot of things in life that are important to me. My Great Dane Lullaby, my family, and just having fun in this crazy world. My name is Dennis Deuce, and this blog is about sharing what my friends and I do to make our busy lives a little more green. I spent my teen years in Lethbridge, Alberta. This area of the world is barren, flat prairie. The wind never stops blowing. As a kid, I thought it was a curse. But on my last trip back to Canada, I found that the wind has become a blessing for the people who live in and around southern Alberta. Wind energy is a great way to create electricity with little or no impact. Of course, every form of electrical generation has some downside. Many people complain that windmills can kill birds. With the wind blowing at over 60 miles per hour, these are hardly moving. If a bird dies by flying into one of these, well, I'm not sure if Charles Darwin would agree, but that is not a very bright bird, and if it had not hit the windmill, natural selection would have got it sooner or later. Looking around on the Invenergy website, I found these statistics especially interesting. Invenergy and its affiliated companies have developed and placed in service 26 wind farms and five natural gas fuel generating facilities with a capacity of over 2,200 megawatts, which can provide enough power for approximately 2 million homes. Invenergy is one of the top six largest owners of wind generation facilities in the United States, according to the American Wind Energy Association. Now, a word from our sponsor. The war is over. Solice Engineered Systems declares peace in the solar realm. No more unsightly mismatched roof installs. Our patented co-solar thermal technology installs right behind any PV panel. Putting thermal behind the panel because panels are less exactly. efficient when they get hot. So it makes perfect sense. You need to be using the coolant to heat the house. To do to something. Heat something. Yeah, so it's, it's brilliant, I think. To learn more, check out our website or send us an email to askus at solice.com. Solice is proud to sponsor Real Green World. Let's get back to this week's guest on this week's episode of Real Green World. The second complaint many people have against wind farms is the look. Having grown up in the wind-swept prairie, I found these to be an improvement over the never-ending nothingness, and they gave me a sense of relief knowing that all that wind was going to be used for something. Each of these beasts is over 400 feet tall. That's like a 40-story building. It's hard to tell out here in the prairie how tall they really are, but they are huge! Real Green World is all about doing something that is good for the environment and for the pocketbook. I would say that a company with farms this large is proving you can have both. Okay, so this is our show on solar, eh? And wind power, eh? Yeah. Okay, so have a good green day, eh? That was fantastic. I learned a ton about wind energy putting this episode together for you. But I still have to get to Canada. So, until next week, have a great green week. American Green Home and Isaiah Industries are proud to sponsor Real Green World. <laughs>